ICANN is well established in the business of video production. They make lights, monitors, teleprompters, and they've just started carrying a new line of tripods, monopods, and video heads from eImage. Let's take a look. Hey everyone, I'm Mia. I have a few tripod kits, but ICANN also makes all of the e-image tripod legs and fluid heads available separately. So I'm going to break down the components individually and talk about each piece. That way, you can choose the combination of equipment that is the best fit for you. Let's start with the largest combination that I have. The GC102 tripod can support a payload of up to 133 pounds. The GH10L fluid head can hold about 22 pounds. These are available in a kit. This is a heavy-duty tripod designed for professional production. The legs are carbon fiber, so despite its durability, the GC102 weighs just under 10 pounds. That's not super light to lug around, but it's not bad for being able to support over 100 pounds. Several of the tripods in this video have E-Image's monolock design. Now, I really like this system. Here's how it works. Although the legs are divided into sections, they release and lock in place with just one twist knob. Each leg deploys and locks down in seconds, perfect for fast setup on location. The locks feel strong, and I never once had a problem with them slipping. The legs hinge in and out from the bowl with an adjustable floor spreader. Floor spreaders work great on smooth, even surfaces, but if you're working on uneven terrain, go ahead and remove it. Small, spiked feet are underneath. I could get the bowl down to a minimum height of about 18 inches. Fully extended, the legs raise the bowl platform to 63 inches. The bowl on the tripod supports a 100 millimeter ball. It's a nice, wide, supportive platform for larger equipment. The E-Image GH10L fluid head works perfectly with these sticks. It comes with a long, sliding, quick release plate. This is a premium fluid head that allows you to adjust the drag on your pan and tilt movements. You can add drag in increments from zero to three. I found the head movement to be super smooth at all levels except zero. When you don't put any drag on the pan, it's tough to get a smooth, continuous movement. But chances are, if you're meaning to incorporate a pan into your shot, you'll be setting some drag. You can also dial in the counterbalance that's specific to your camera with a seven-step counterbalance dial. The GH10L moves well and is definitely one of ICANN's top-of-the-line fluid heads. The other monolock tripod I'm working with is a little bit smaller and made of aluminum. This is the GA752, and when you release the twist locks on this tripod, you'll see that each leg comes down in three sections instead of two. It also has a middle spreader, which is much easier to work with outside of the studio, especially on uneven terrain. This model can hold up to 88 pounds and has a maximum height of about 61 inches and a minimum of around 26 inches. The GA752 features a 75mm bowl, and it's available with one of two fluid heads, either the GH03 or the GH06. We'll start with the GH03. This video head can hold up to 11 pounds and is one of the more affordable e-image fluid heads. It has pan and tilt locks, and ICANN says that the drag you'll experience is based on the weight of the camera. Uh, it was hard for me to tell a difference from camera to camera. There is a single counterbalance setting, which is a nice luxury at this price point, and I found it generally provided decent counterweight for cameras within the weight limit. And all of the fluid heads that we're featuring have a quarter 20 accessory hole on the side to hold a monitor or other accessory, and they all come with a pan handle. The GH06 fluid head provides much more control over the head movement, like the GH10L that we looked at earlier. Drag on the pan and tilt is adjusted in steps ranging from zero to three. There's also a five-step counterbalance wheel. This is E-Image's mid-range fluid head, and it's really smooth. The movement is clean and seamless. The GH03 and the GH06 heads have easy lock camera plates, meaning that the quick release plate can be snapped in from the top or slid in from the back. Snapping it in from the top is easier when you're working with heavier or unbalanced equipment. Both of these tripods that we talked about come with a well-padded carrying case. Let's move on to the last tripod that we're looking at today, the 771 CT. This is a lightweight carbon fiber tripod that weighs just seven pounds. It can support up to 55 pounds. Each leg has four sections, which lock with twist locks, 
twist locks are not my favorite because they seem to strip easily and they're kind of a pain to twist and untwist every time you want to adjust something. But for the record, these locked nice and tight for me. The feet of this tripod have metal spikes for grip on soft turf and small rubber feet that screw down for working on hard or delicate surfaces. The bowl works with both 75 and 100 millimeter ball heads. What's really nice is the height. With the legs fully extended and locked into the smallest angle, the bowl sits at 70 inches from the floor. That will easily get you over the heads of a crowd if need be. The 771CT doesn't use a spreader. The angle of each leg is adjusted up near the bowl. This silver part slides out and you can adjust the angle in steps. When you find the angle you want, it slides back in. I think this design is a little easier to use than a spreader. At the widest angle, closest to the ground, the bowl sits at about 8 inches from the floor. All three legs have a foam grip on the top section for easy carrying. If a smaller footprint works for you, ICANN offers an eImage 756C monopod with a 7050AH video head. The fluid head has a pan and tilt lock plus a knob to control the friction on the tilt. That's a very nice feature to have built into a small video head like this. All in all, this head is pretty smooth. It can support 13 pounds and is made of carbon fiber so it weighs only four and a half pounds. The entire camera plate platform slides back and forth to help keep the center of gravity over the leg. The quick release plate snaps into place from the top and is released with a lever in back. The leg extends with flip locks and sits on a round rubber foot. That rubber retracts to reveal a spike for shooting on soft ground. The top portion of the leg has a foam grip. This monopod comes with its own carrying case. ICANN is distributing a few other e-image accessories, like a big padded carrying case for your camera and accessories, and a half ball leveler. If you're currently working with a flat video head that you really like, that half ball leveler is needed to use it with these tripods. So that's a look at the new e-image line from ICANN, and they are squarely aimed at the professional market. I'm Mia McCormick. Thanks for watching. Whether you're a hobbyist or a professional, BNH has the answers to your questions. Experience a world of technology at our New York City Superstore. Connect with us online or give us a call. Our staff of experts is happy to help. Scott Kelby here and welcome to this quick tour of our online training. We have hundreds of online classes for you covering everything from lighting to landscape photography. From portrait photography to sports, we have classes on wedding, Automotive photography, shooting, food, fashion, travel, you name it. The most incredible part of this is the price. You get all of this for just $199 a year, or you can pay monthly for just $24.95. 24 hour a day, seven day a week access from anywhere in the world. I invite you to join with us today and start learning right now.